Este es Aaron con de Enacapiras Acá vamos a otro video para ti hoy Muy rápido, quick video, much quicker video This one deals with Google Chrome Web Browser Another problem, that's all I deal with all day On this third party website Or just in my niche in general Just problem solving, computer problems all day long This individual could not play videos with Chrome Web Browser They claimed that when they went to play videos it, They received a blank screen I remotely connected and that's not, not necessarily true. Vimeo.com worked, some YouTube videos played, but I noticed most all the live stream videos I tried on. I'll be right back. All the live streaming videos I tried did not work. So let me cut to the chase. So they click on watch video, nothing happens. I don't argue with semantics while well, you stipulated that nobody was played, but I just tested on Vimeo or some YouTube videos played. I don't argue. I just remote in, bam, cut to the chase. So what fixed this issue was clearing the cache, which is easy to do for you. I don't use Google Chrome Web Browser. I just why? I don't like using any of the mainstream web browsers, so I can't demonstrate, but I can just quickly walk you through it. In order to clear the cache, as of the time of this video creation and blog post that I wrote, click on the link in the description box below so that you can get abstract written instructions on how to clear the cache in Google Chrome Web Browser. You right-click the menu, which is the three dots on the upper right-hand side. Click on that. Then you want to choose Advanced excuse me settings choose settings and then you're gonna scroll down a little bit and then there will be an advanced button there will be a little arrow pointing down click on advanced and then the advanced menu will populate and keep scrolling until you find clear browsing data now you here's my warning my legal warning be careful when you clear the cache manually with Google Chrome because sometimes by default there's a category for passwords. The word passwords and then there will be a checkbox. If there's a check in that box, it will clear all your passwords that you saved. As a computer repair technician, when I remote in or even if somebody brings me their computer and I fuck around with their Google Chrome settings, I never, ever, ever clear their passwords because I can already hear the chaos out of order in the world order I'm gonna get yelled at cussed at slapped you know threatened with a lawsuit you could have just created a disaster because some people don't keep their passwords in a password file which I don't recommend a text file I recommend a program where it it encrypts and then also that is password protected but I digress so when you clear your passwords now sometimes it's Google Chrome changes sometimes it's listed right there with along with the other ones the other options that you're gonna notice is down browsing history download history cast Im cached images all of those categories will have check boxes and most of them are probably gonna be selected by default I know for a fact because last night well actually the last two nights I fixed browser issues where these people, my customers, my clients, whatever, the, these individuals, they could not play video and they both had Google Chrome and I cleared the cache in both instances. Make sure that you, and then there, there could be another separate menu to the right. You click on that and then that's where you'll see passwords. The caveat emptor, if you clear your passwords, don't fuck come back crying to me. I don't want to fucking hear it. Now then finally when you've chosen all your categories and you're happy with what is going to get cleared, then you click on the big blue clear browsing data button. You can't miss it. Click on that. It depends on how much cash, whether or not it takes seconds, split seconds, or it might even take a minute or more. It depends on how much cash has built up the time it takes to clear the cash. So eventually, Google Chrome will tell you that the cache is cleared or it, it'll respond back. And then 
that's it that's how you manually clear the cache believe it or not that can fix a lot of problems it can now if that doesn't work you can check out the link at my blog post on anetcomputers.com where you can use a commercial version of software that that could fix the problem too but that that could that should do it now I'll give you a couple of extra tips that was an easy fix I went in there I ver another thing I verified I didn't include my blog post because I I wanted to cut to the chase and just get to the solution another thing you might want to look for is any plugins this the customer two fortnights ago they had two ad blockers no you never want to enable more than one ad blocker that's not even logical why would you enable two ad blockers at the same time at once no it's like running two antivirus software you never ever want to enable two antivirus software on your computers because they'll conflict with each other and actually they'll slow down your computer and it's possible that they'll conflict over each other and viruses could actually get through but that's a whole nother video so my tip is that if this doesn't fix your issue go in and make sure that you don't have more than one ad blocker extension enabled in Google Chrome if you have more than one disable one another thing is hardware acceleration that didn't fix issue but my client two fortnights ago one of two issues one of two solutions fixed their problem number one I disabled the second ad blocker number two I disabled hardware acceleration on some computers with some video cards if you have hardware acceleration which is in the settings the advanced settings menu in Google Chrome you scroll way down towards the bottom if you have hardware acceleration enabled that can cause blank or black video now with both of these customers they could play some YouTube videos let me think they could play some Vimeo no one no one customer when I I had to disable an additional plug-in or extension and then hardware acceleration and then all the videos but you could play some YouTube videos it was with live streaming in both instances as soon as I tried to play live streamed videos on YouTube that that those that those were live streams they were both blank blank black screen whatever you want to refer to it as so those I gave you some bonus tips so good luck you know what I'm saying adios